Alright, so I'm back with Find the Love or Die trying again. Uh, anyway, let's just get straight back into it. We just started episode 2, and I think it was, or part 2 or whatever, and it's called the second one. In the morning, the girls and I decided to hang out in the garden outside the house. Oh wow, there's all kinds of flowers here that I've never seen here before. I know basically nothing about flowers. I can tell you like what roses and tulips are. Well, she just mentioned tulips is why I said tulips, but I can tell you what they are, but other than that, I probably don't know much. Really? You've never seen a tulip? Grandma and I only grew hyacinths back home, so nope. Not even on the internet? And I thought I had to get out more. I can believe that. The only flowers I ever work with are Venus flytraps. Do they count Venus flytraps as a flower? I didn't know if they did or not. That's neat if they do. What do you do with those? Well, we do a lot of experiments at the lab. You work at a lab? Don't you ever find yourself thinking, wouldn't it be cool to make a Venus flytrap that could walk and talk? Uh, no, not really. Literally never. Ah, uh, it's whatever. She ran away two years ago. You actually did it? Both my neighbors lost their pet cats the same day too. Huh, coincidences are weird like that. I miss you, Fluffy. You sure they were lost? Tea's ready. Oh, hey, Violet. Thanks, Violet. I got a cup for everybody. <laughs> oh, she wasn't talking about me? <laughs> That's a problem with <laughs> naming myself Tea. I got a cup for everybody. The aroma from the tea really worked up my appetite. I have prepared some treats for us as well. Please enjoy. Maybe the chef girl ain't that bad. We spent the rest of the morning eating delicious treats and sipping on delicious tea. It's with your eyes what might have happened to Fluffy. Personally, my money's on the felines being the culprits. Every cat I've met has made a nasty surprise of the sleep. See, that might steer me more towards her instead of the gamer girl. She made tea? Come on, I gotta go for that. <laughs> God, I'm easily swayed. Oh, there you are, T. I've been looking for you. It's time to decide who's your other soulmate candidate. You remember what we discussed yesterday, right? I uh, sure do. How can I forget? It's not like I've ever forgotten anything important before. Except for, well, everything. It's not like I've just playing this right after that last episode. That would be weird. Save the snark for whichever poor girl you end up seeing today. Ow, that stings. It'll be just between your two soulmate candidates from here on out, so choose wisely. Ah, uh, gamer girl or chef? If we are not choosing within these first two days, what are we to do instead? Well, we are in a tropical paradise. Think of the rest of the show as a vacation. It's not like you're losing anything. Soulmates aren't real anyway. Oh, that's depressing. Not much for romance, are you, cat? How could you tell? Wait a minute, cat. Will we be splitting up the group after today? Nope, don't worry. You'll still be able to hang out together. But who knows where that will go? Woo, good to know my battle plans will still come in handy. <coughs> I mean, friendship plans. Good to know I still get to see my new friends. Yes, sir. So without further ado, T, who's the unlucky girl? I'd like to spend some time today with... Uh, well, we can't choose Yui. It's between Te uh, Terra or Violet. She made me tea, I gotta go with Violet. Violet. Alright, we'll make it happen. Give us a minute to set up the scene, then go find her. Sure thing. God, I'm too easily swayed if tea is all it takes tea and food is all it takes to get to my heart. But there is that saying about the way that a man's heart is through his stomach for a reason, I guess. <sighs> God, I had, <laughs> I had just gone outside the mansion to find Violet when a white limousine drove up and stopped in front of me. Yeah, I'm not all about the money, I was just about the food. <laughs> One stepped out from the driver's seat and walked towards me. T, good day, please do enter. What's with the formal talk? Please just get in the car, T. You already heard what she did to my bro. Is he, uh, no I didn't. He opened the passenger door and ushered me inside. Oh, uh, is Violet in here? I shrugged and went inside. What's the worst that could happen on a death game dating show? I die. We sat in silence as one drove me to what looked like some sort of fancy restaurant and it escorted me inside. Oh, this is actually nice looking. I love the aquarium. I'm glad I chose her. I'd love to eat at a restaurant like this, but I could never afford it. Bonjour, suitor. I trust my new butler brought you here safely? Yeah, he did. What's going on, Violet? 
I thought I would give you a chance to have some alone time with the star of the show is all. Ah, I'm glad he took that pity on me. And I am told this is what people do when they are courting. Are you that old fashioned you call it courting? Have you never been on a date before? Uh, uh, of course I have, and I've read all of the manuals on the subject. Dating doesn't come from a book. It comes from the heart. It's going to sound cheesy, but it's new. I'll have you know I've studied every book of the lusty new Asian made series and know them all by heart. That doesn't sound like a good series to follow. Impressed, I'm sure. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, Violet. Oh, it was nothing. Pardon my interruption. I brought your food. Please be seated. Honor guests, I didn't even order anything. Violet and I sat at a table in the center of the palace as one place each dish under the table. On, onto the table one by one. I think that's supposed to be table, not tail. I hope we get dessert. They seem to linger over the meatballs as he brought them over. Oh, it's his brother. Thank you, one. Please, don't hold yourself back. Don't think I will. This food looks incredible and probably worth more than my life. Yeah, it, and we're also going to be cannibals. You're right on both counts, T. I'm, I'm ecstatic. You're like the assortment. I planned it myself. You're a chef? You could say that. What do you mean? Anyway, tell me more about yourself, T. She's dancing around the subject. There's not too much to say. Amnesia is a hell of a drug. So is cocaine, apparently. It's from what I'm told. I was looking at something the other day about Chris Farley. He's an old actor from the 90s. He overdosed on, well, like, cocaine and something else. But, uh, he was able to do, like, back or flips and somersaults and whatnot for his weight and... Uh, someone was asking on the internet how he was able to do that, and someone's comment was just, Cocaine's a hell of a drug. You do not, not you, Jesus, you do not remember your past? Yeah, bummer, right? Then rest assured, I will find the finest scientist in all the land to help you recover your memory when this is over. I appreciate it. That, that would be great. Thanks, Violet. Take nothing of it. It's the duty of those with more to give back, no? Though, have you ever thought, perchance, that this is actually a blessing in disguise? How so? What do you mean? Many of us would be happier not knowing what drags us down. Yeah, there's some stuff I wish I could forget, but I can't. But then again, it might just be forgotten over time. That may be true, but still, I need to know. You sound just like the reference examples in the romance manuals. Consider me impressed. You know, those manuals are just regular old fiction novels, right? Ha, huh, you're quite funny, T. An admirable trait to have. I like that. Ooh, getting brownie points already. Anyway, you haven't told me about yourself, Violet. I like the aquarium, though, still. I keep looking back at that when I'm not paying attention. Who are you? What do you do for fun? I'd like to know, like, my eyes keep getting drawn towards it. Being the Skion of the Valentines does not leave much fun for time, I'm afraid. What does Skion mean? Or, or how is it even pronounced? Skion? Skion? I don't know. Time to look it up, because that's all I can do when I don't know stuff. Uh... Sorry. See on a young shooter twig of a plant, especially one cut for grafting a rooting or a descendant of a notable family. Huh. I think she's obviously the plant meeting, you know? Obviously not the second one. And time to listen to the pronunciation. Scion. Okay. Being the scion of the Valentine's does not leave much time for fun, I'm afraid. Even on this show, I spend most of my waking hours managing the Valentine's restaurant businesses. But I suppose if I have a spell of time, I enjoy baking. I don't get it. Why are you embarrassed by liking baking? I love baking more than I do cooking. Like, I'm about to help my grandmother do some baking tomorrow. We're making pumpkin rolls for Thanksgiving. Everyone has a hobby. Baking is something of a servant hobby, according to my parents. It's not a servant hobby. It's a fun thing to do. I might be more uh, into what she's into than I thought. When they found out I was enjoying that well, they made sure to stop me from ever doing it again with all the restaurant work. That's sad. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? You know what? I do know of what, but what do you mean? Who cares what your parents think? Here, on this island a million miles out, they can't stop you. Yeah, let's do some baking together. How about we find some time together to bake up for lost time? Ha, make up for lost time pun. She laughed like a child. That would be, that would be wonderful, T. I'll make some time on my calendar for you. We spent the next few hours enjoying the finest meal that money could buy. Each course was better than the last, just like each chapter of The Lusty New Asian Mate, according to Violet. Something tells me that the same applies to every moment I'll share together with Violet. Ooh, I might go for her instead, because food.
But then again, we also have to go with Yui for the ratings. Still can't get over that those meatballs might be cannibalistic things. Oh, I like the look of this place, especially the gold color. The gold and white goes together like that. I was about to enter my room and I felt this familiar tap on my shoulder. Hey there, T. Got a minute? Uh, what did I do this time? Whatever it was, uh, blame it on, I don't know, Terra or Scarlet or Allie. I want to make Yui and Violet jealous. It'd be good for ratings. Sorry, what? You're no fun, anyway. She opened the door to my room and walked inside. Oh, that wasn't my room. I followed suit. I wasn't even in my room. I've got some good news. Okay. I'm all ears. Turns out my strategy worked. We've gotten enough ratings to avoid early canning. Don't get me wrong, people loved it when you and Yui were the main ship, but now with Violet is some serious competition? Let's just say online threads went from optimistic and united to downright murderous. Well, I'm glad to hear I get to live another day. For now, at least, but that'll change quickly if our viewers don't feel like your relationships with both of them are progressing. Cat laughed and took a seat on my bed. So I had to hang out with both of them? You know, I'm curious how you're feeling about Yui and Violet. Between those two, do you have a favorite? I'm leaning towards Violet because of the baking thing. Though I've known her for less time, I think I like Violet more right now. I don't know as much as I'd like about Violet just yet, but I know more than anything that I just want to keep learning more about her. I know more than anything that I just want food. Really, well I can't say I'm too surprised, but maybe just a little. Let's see where things go with Violet. Something tells me you'll be hanging out with her again soon enough. Anyway, that's it for today. Keep it up, and who knows, you might just be the first one to make it out of here. I'd be the first. Night T. Good night, Cat. Good night, Cat. Oh, I said it before I read it. She let to my room, closing the door behind her. Guess it's time to turn in for the night. Another dream time? I see waves crash soundlessly against the shore and dissolve to nothing before they reach my feet. This must be my dream. So do all my dreams just start off with waves? Is this like a uh, lucid dream or something? She's next to me. I can't make out her face or even hear her voice, but I know it's her. The way the pale moonlight dances in her hair is so nostalgic. You look like you've seen a ghost, Key. You. Somehow I can't see your face nor hear your voice, but I know it's you. No, it's you. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I hear my own voice speaking as if it were coming through an old cassette. Are you thinking about what's going on out there now? Ten bucks, that is better on this side. Interesting. Out there, every day is a fight to stay alive. Here, at least, there's food, shelter, a place to call home. And most importantly, high speed and unlimited internet? Oh god, I wish I had high speed internet. But my internet goes slow as a brick. I reach for her hand and hold it tight, and people that love you. Who is this? I know, and I love you too. I know how lucky I am to be here, but I still want to see the other side. Why? You wouldn't survive a day out there. Same goes for me. Because it's real. It's real life. Where things happen that aren't planned by some producer. Where living isn't just following a script. I'd do anything for just a taste of it. We've been over this. I know. I'm just so tired of this, I... What the hell are we doing here, T? I felt the same way she did, but there was nothing we could do. Not if we valued our lives. Huh. There's no escaping from here alive. We're living another day. What happened? But what are we living for? I sighed. You really want to see the other side that badly? Yes. I laughed when she had that look in her eye. I knew there was no convincing her otherwise. Even if she had to go alone, she'd see it through. And I loved her for that. I guess you'll owe me ten bucks pretty soon. She laughed. You'll be the judge of that. Ooh. What is the screen again? Episode 3. Take a chance. Interesting. I wonder what this is going to be about. Episode 2 was clear what it was about by the name of the second one or whatever. Then you set the meat at around 300... Uh... Never mind, I'm stopping it there because it's about all the time I had it for this part anyway, so. It's interesting so far, like I said, I'm more interested in Violet right now. But Yui's a good option too, and, and I was sad not to choose Terra, but come on, food. Anyway, that's all the time I have for this part, so goodbye for now.